Thanks for tuning in to the talk show, y'all. It's talk of the town. And I'm always on some type of motherfucking bullshit, y'all. And, and what we talking about, she's the freak of the week. You, but today, uh, we ain't talking about no uh, she this time, y'all. We talking about a, a few men that they ended up as the freak of the week, y'all. That's right. Today on the talk show, y'all, we're going to be talking about Dwight Howard, y'all. That's right. Put your hands together for Dwight Howard, NBA all-star and legend. Put your hands together for him. You're damn right. But after this show is over, you probably ain't going to be wanting to clap for his ass. You're damn right. We're going to look at it with an open mind. We're hoping that Dwight Howard didn't do uh, some of the things that uh, this uh, transgender, uh, he got a weird name. Uh, and we're going to call him a he on this show. We understand that. Uh, you know, everybody want to be politically correct, but on the talk show, we look at it like this here. Uh, we look at it, uh, if we can drop your draws, God damn it, and, and you got a wang on the thing, we're going to call you a man. If you drop your draws and you got a, a kitty cat, we'll call you a woman. All right, now that's how we look at it on the talk show. But we're going to start this video, y'all. This is about Dwight Howard. I want you to pay attention to this clip I'm going to show. Uh, we got Dwight Howard going to the bench. Now, he's not playing. He's not even playing in the game. He had an injury at the time, and I bet you it was a back injury. Mm. I think we got to start looking at uh, Dwight's back a little bit. We got to start finding out uh, about Dwight's uh, back injuries. But we're going to play this video. I want you to notice uh, we got several basketball players, NBA players, sitting on the bench. Uh, you got one guy, uh, Trevor Reza. Uh, he slaps the guy upside the head, Isaiah Cannon. Now, I want you to pay attention to Isaiah Cannon. Isaiah Cannon, for some reason... Uh, uh, Dwight Howard looked him in his eyes, and they made eye contact, and for some reason, uh, Dwight uh, started playing a little basketball, and he wasn't playing. Now, it was with Isaiah Cannon's uh, balls. But uh, I want you to notice, how, and I talk, did a little experiment with this. I, uh, what I did was slowed it down to super-duper, super slow motion. Only on the talk show I did that, but I can't show you. I don't have the technology to slow it down that good, but what you can do when this show is over with, I want you to super slow it, pause it, and whatever you got to do, stop it and play it, whatever you got to do, and you're going to see uh, Isaiah Cannon did not take his hand and like shove Dwight's hand out the way. Look like he rubbed the man's hand, so I'm just saying, I ain't saying Isaiah Cannon, but they look real strange. Bam. Yeah. Mm, you see, hey, Sam Cassell looked like he seen something. Now, look, he ain't even playing tonight, y'all. He ain't even playing. Now, Steven Jackson going to talk about this at the end, y'all. But check this out, man. This man got one thing on his mind, playing basketball but not out on the court. Now, hey, wait a minute. I know y'all been sitting there, everybody like, God damn, man. When Jack going to actually say something about the Dwight Howard situation? Well, here you go. First. Well, really, the only thing I got to say is, when did they start playing that game in NBA? Did they start playing grab your private game? I'm, that's what I'm saying. That's right, Steven. That's a real basketball player there. In the NBA. He going to tell you the real. I'm sorry. I just, I don't have no motivation or nothing to say. I'm confused. I'm me, sorry. Me too, man. Who was in the locker room when he decided to come in there and say, hey, let's play the uh, grab the private game? <clears throat> Good question. Who? Like, who was in the locker room when he came who? in and said, that's the game we playing today? Who? Owls? I started this game they called grab the private game. Mm. Who? Who? Another the whole team, we going to play it. Mm. Who? who? All us? Shit. Man, you got me fucked up, Dwight. I wish you. I wish one of y'all would come over and try to touch anything of mine. You're gonna be picking up your teeth and counting them like Skittles. <laughs> I got here. There ain't no way. We go. We go. We go. Pause that uh, video right there. Talk Nation. Steven Jackson says, "Dwight, if you if you come and grab his balls, goddammit, it, you're gonna be picking up your teeth like Skittles. You know, it looks like Dwight like to be uh, posted up." Uh, sometime too he you know he usually do the uh, posting up out on the basketball court used to wonder why Dwight Howard was you know even though they call him a superman look like he ain't nothing but a super freak y'all video evidence is proof man I mean this man's hands went in that man's lap uh, Isaiah Cannon I'm sorry dude I hope you I don't know what's going on but you know but they, they teach his own if that's your lifestyle this world is big enough to do whatever you want to do and I got a problem with this here 
Dwight Howard is injured a whole lot, no matter what team he go to. He always having these back injuries. And now lately, he got what you call an uh, ass situation, uh, like an ass injury. you damn right. And, and it looks like from what this uh, transgender uh, guy is talking about that uh, that Dwight like to back it up or you play that or play his backfield in motion a lot of times, and that's maybe that's how he getting all these ass and back injuries. You know, uh, it ain't good, Dwight. It don't look good for an NBA All Star and legend to end up being the freak of the week. Uh, Isaiah Cannon don't look good for you either, baby. Uh, talk, uh, keep it real on here, y'all. Used to sitting on the bench, but ain't never seen that kind of basketball be played on the bench. I'm with Stephen Jackson on that. Uh uh, pick your teeth up like Skittles. You damn right. I think you need to be able to introduce these guys to the Jackson. They think just because Michael died, you damn right. Put your hands together for the Jackson Five. You know, just because Michael died, don't mean and. Joe Jackson died don't mean you can't bring the Jacksons back for a special reunion. And that's something, hey, if you like that and he reached down and grabbed balls, jackpot, baby. Put your hands together for people that call it a jackpot. Man, right, some guys like that. This world is big enough for you. Superman is holding this candy cane up for everybody. You damn right. For everybody. This is the everybody show. We, we talk about everybody's ass. And today uh, is Dwight's ass this time. And I ain't gonna lie, lie it's Dwight's ass uh, literally. You're damn right. Uh, why you keep having these sore ass injuries all the time? Is it because of your back feeling motion? Uh, please uh, make some comments, y'all. We need to know. You think uh, Dwight's ass injuries is become because of his back feeling motion activity? Because he like to keep it loose in the locker room other than just his sense of humor? Mm, we're going to check into it, y'all. Hopefully, Dwight ain't do none of this stuff. Uh, maybe it's just another uh, phony story, y'all. Only on the talk show. Thanks for tuning in to the talk show. And we're going to leave on up out of here with the freaks of the week, y'all. You're damn right. We're going to leave out with the freak of the week. Only on the talk show, y'all.